Yesterday I uploaded a video where I was vlogging with the Blackmagic Cinema 4K camera and this is what I learned from that experience. I was actually quite positively surprised when using this to vlog and I know I'm not a big vlogger and I know if you are a vlogger this is probably not going to be your first choice to use as a vlogging setup but I actually wanted to use this to see what can you do with this camera if this was your only camera because there are so many people who are looking to buy this camera or already have bought it and maybe they want to start vlogging so this video is for those people. So number one, for me at least, I need a screen so I can see what I'm doing. Not only for uh, framing, but also for judging my exposure. Now you can set your exposures in different ways in the camera, but still I'm, I think it's really nice to have a, a screen like this so you can see what you're doing and your exposure. With that said, this screen is from Field World. It is the FW279S and this is an ultra bright version of the screen and it is a seven inch screen, a little bit on the big side, but I've actually been enjoying this screen a lot. I'm seeing everything. I can see that I'm in focus. I can see my framing. I can see that the lack of IBIS is killing me. So one thing I really like about the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K camera is actually the internal audio. And for vloggers, I actually think it's quite usable to just use it like this. <laughs> We're filming a lot. We're doing a lot of shooting together, both outside and of course some inside. And we take a lot of pictures together as well. And that is how good I feel the audio actually is on this camera. Now, depending on how you shoot your vlogs, you probably might think about which codec you're gonna use. I would recommend using the ProRes LT because it is a lightweight codec and doesn't take too much room on your cards. Now I wish I could assign the punch and focus to one of the function buttons, but as far as I know, I couldn't do that. So that is probably my only gripe with the the implementing of the buttons here. I have to always look for the punch in button on the camera and at times you could actually touch one of the other buttons because you might not see what you're actually doing. One of the things that is not perfect for vloggers would probably be the battery life but I mean, if you're a vlogger, you will probably not shoot like sequences that are 30, 30 minutes long. So maybe that's not a big issue. If you want to shoot longer sequences, you might go for the Canon original LP6 batteries because uh, third party manufacturing batteries seem to have problems with shutting down as I've talked about in other videos. There is actually one thing that I missed from the Panasonic GH5 that I would love to have on this camera if I was a vlogger, and that is probably the IBIS. You can actually see that when I walk in uh, with this camera, you can actually see that it is wobbling quite a lot, but it's not a big deal. If you are using a really wide angled lens, you might not have an issue with that. And I mean, there are people out there like Peter McKinnon and Casey Neistat who vlog and they use cameras like the Canon cameras without IBIS. So, I mean, if you have a really wide angle lens, it's not a big, big deal. Now, my conclusion here is that I actually was positively surprised vlogging with this camera and with the screen to say, because I really can see what's happening in my frame with this ultra bright screen. So uh, the only thing is maybe it, it is a little bit on the heavy side. I would love to know if there are people out there who have plans on using this as a vlogging camera. As I said, it's not the perfect one, but I mean, I think it's that good and it has such a beautiful image that if you have this camera you might actually consider vlogging with it. I mean it doesn't have autofocus for some people that is a bummer but there are so many people who vlog there without autofocus. So if you have any questions for me please leave in them in the comments or add me on Instagram. My name there is Arbor and until the next time bye bye.